All right, class. Uh, today we're doing ellipses. Um, it's day one of 11.1. .1. I'm going to put the screen here, and what I want you guys to do is pause the screen right now and write this stuff down. It's just the parts of an ellipse. Uh, the first thing you should note, though, actually, you should pause right now, and I'm going to start talking. Uh, the first thing you should note is that these are the general equations. They're pretty much the same equation. I just put the y first on the other one. Both equations are equal to 1, ellipses are equal to 1. The bottom, so the top should look kind of like what we did with the circle. Uh, the circle had a, x minus h squared and y plus minus k squared, and sure enough, the center is hk. So we call our x and our y the radii in the x and y direction because an ellipse is like an oval. The two radii are going to be different, unlike a circle where they're the same. Um, we would say that the major axis is the longer axis, and that's where we're going to find our vertices. Uh, sometimes I call the co-vertices the ones on the smaller radii, but we don't ever have to list those. We just use those to graph our ellipse. And then I'm going to talk about the focus when I give you an example. So my example for today is going to be x minus 1 squared over 4 plus y plus, I don't know, th uh, 1. I'll just do 1 again squared over 9 equals 1. So we're going to I'm going to go through all these things with this example. So while it's still on the screen. So I have x squared uh, I have this format. So right away because of the circle stuff you should note that the center is at 1 comma negative 1. So that's right there. Now remember if you look at these formulas the radii are squared at the bottom. So that means that our x, the one under the x, is now just 2, and the radii under the y is 3. And what that means is that I'm going to count from the center in the x direction out 2 this way and 2 that way. In the y direction, I'm going to count 3 up, 3 down. And then we have our ellipse. Now we call the vertices, I'll do that right here, the vertices are the ones that are on the major axis. So in this case, the longer axis is up and down. So these points are my vertices. My vertices are 1, 2, and 1, negative 4. Okay? Now, there is one more part of an ellipse called the focus, and it's basically part of the definition of an ellipse. Um, it's also uh, useful for word problems, because a lot of things happen. It's like where the sound bounces and travels to from any part of the ellipse. To find the focus, you use this formula right here. It's f squared, and f is the focal distance from the center. It's just the big radius squared minus the little radius squared. So that's, I, I did it that way because we don't know which one's going to be the bigger or smaller, so I can't tell you it's rx minus ry always. So for this problem, f squared is going to be the big radius squared minus the little radius squared. So we get 9 minus 4, which is f squared is 5 which means f is equal to the square root of 5. Now what this means is the foci are root 5 away from the center in the direction of the vertices. They're with the vertices. So root 5 is a little more than 2. So there's going to be a focus here and a focus point here. So now we have to list what those points are. Well, both of those points have an x value of 1. And they have a y value of, well, this y value is negative 1, but then we moved up root 5 and down root 5. So to do that, we just say plus or minus root 5. That's our foci points. And that's all you need for an ellipse. You need the center, you need the radii, so you can draw your ellipse, list the vertices, and then find the foci. Then you got it. All right, let's move on and do some examples. x squared over 9, y squared over 16 equals 1. Hopefully you guys are thinking, oh, this center is just 0, 0, because there's nothing with the x and y. I have a rx of the square root of 9 is 3. I have a radius in the y that's 4. So now I'm going to plot this. I go out 3 in the x. I go up 4 and down 4 in the y. Here's my ellipse. We go. Now I pick which ones are my vertices. The vertices are the bigger, uh, the further away points. So that'd be 0, 4, 
and zero negative four because again the major axis we're gonna keep saying that word is on the y-axis now I need to find the foci so to do that I need to find this formula again f squared equals the bigger radius squared minus the little radius squared 16 minus 9 is 7 so f is equal to the square root of 7 okay so you just have to figure out which way we're adding square root of 7 to we're adding in the up and down direction so for both of these points that I just plotted the x is still 0 the y is plus or minus root 7 we're adding 0 plus or minus root 7 to get to these two points and then we're done so that's all the information so it goes kinda of quick once you know how to do it um, although that's pretty true of everything alright so center negative 2 1 because again it's the opposite signs of what's in here uh, I also know my Rx is 3 and my Ry is 2 so I go to negative 2 positive 1 I move 2 in the Y in both directions I move 3 in the X and now we finally have an ellipse where it's sideways where the X axis is the longer major axis so um, let's write our vertices now be careful the vertices aren't these two anymore they're the ones that are on the two ends the again on the major axis so my vertices are 1 1 and negative 5 1 now we find the focal length or the, uh, the where the foci are I should say we get 3 squared minus 2 squared uh, we did this one already actually in the example above 9 minus 4 is 5 so f equals square root of 5 this time they'll be careful uh, root 5 away is like right here it's a little more than 2 because root 4 is 2 notice how the the X's change this time so for the foci the X was at negative 2 and then I'm adding and subtracting the root 5 from that point comma then if you notice all three of these points have a Y value of 1 so you add the F value to whatever direction you're moving in from the center so in this case we added it to the X values okay let's do two more and here's where we have a little bit more work we have to do these are completing the square problems now just to remind you guys to complete the square you first group your uh, like variables and then move the negative the 9 over to the other side now before you can complete the square you have to check both X and Y squared they cannot have numbers in front of them and unfortunately the Y does so we have to factor that out so I'm going to rewrite this one more time I have to factor out the 4 and then I do a parentheses now the Y squared is by itself minus 2Y plus blank equals negative 9 now here's where we complete the square I don't know if you guys remember this but um, it's half of this value which is 3 squared so we're gonna add a 9 here which means we have to add a 9 on this side half of negative 2 is negative 1 squared is 1 now be careful we're not adding just 1 to this thing though because the 1 is in a parentheses multiplied by the 4 so we're actually adding a 4 okay because 1 times 4 is 4 now we factor this half of 6 was 3 so this becomes x plus 3 squared plus 4 times y minus 1 squared equals 4 this is starting to look like an ellipse equation we now have centers but we do not have it completely in the final equation you guys have to remember to do the final equation you need uh, it equal to 1 so to equal it to 1 you divide by whatever numbers over here so since we have a 4 over here we need to divide by 4 so my final final answer x plus 3 squared over 4 plus these 4's cancel out y minus 1 squared over 1 because they leave a 1 equal 1 this is the equation of the ellipse now we can do the things that we are used to doing um, so again if you need to pause the screen to look at the completing the square uh, that skill is very important for the rest of what we're going to be doing now we can say the center is 3 negative 3 1 um, so if I plot that I'm gonna put that there I'm gonna say that the x radius is 2 
the Y radius is only one. So it's gonna be a little tiny ellipse. Go out two in the X, one in the Y. There it is. My vertices then are on the X axis, or along, you know, in the X direction, negative one, one, and negative five, one. I feel like we just did that problem. The focal radius, or the foci, where the foci are, the focal distance away from the center, is for uh, two squared minus one squared, or three, square root of three. And again, we're moving in the X direction. So that means that we're going to be adding that to the x coordinate. So the x coordinate of the center is negative 3. Sorry. And then it's plus or minus root 3, comma, the y coordinate is 1. All right. And finally, we can do one more. Um, I'm going to go quickly. You guys actually would rather you. Uh, maybe try this on your own, the completing the square, and then pause the screen now and see what you can do. Um. But again, uh, if you unpause the screen, I'll talk. <laughs> uh, you need to group your like variables, move the number over. We cannot have numbers with our squares, so we have to factor them out. So we'll take a four out of a 48, we get 12x plus blank. Take a what out of a nine out of 72 is an eight Y. Okay, so now we have to add numbers. So half of 12 is negative six, squared is 36. But again, we're not adding a 36, we're adding a 36 times four, which is 144. Because 36 times four, so we're gonna add 144 to this side. Here, half of eight is four, four squared is 16. 9 times 16 is also 144. So we're going to add another 144 to balance it out on the right side. So this is what it looks like. We have four parentheses. This factors into negative 6, negative 6, so x minus 6 squared. This factors into 4 and 4, so y plus 4 squared equals these cancel. We're left with just 144. We're almost there. The last step again for an ellipse is you need to divide by the number to get it to a one. And then in your calculator, you can just math, or we're not gonna be using our calculators though, but if you noticed, 144, four times blank is 144, it's up here in our completing the square, it's 36. So this is gonna be x minus six squared over 36, plus y plus four squared over, well, nine times 16 is 144 equals one. And there we go. Uh, I know this video is getting long. If I actually just stopped here in the class, uh, I didn't. I figured you guys were good at this, but I might as well just write the answers down to this, if I have time, because we only have 15 minutes for this video. Center six four, our x is six, our y is four. Um, so six four negative four. Let's see if I can beat the clock. It'll be an exam. Oh no! Well, I didn't even do this one in class, and it doesn't even work really because our our x is big. One, two, three, four, five, six, it's out here, and here, our y is here, and here, so it kind of looks like this, okay, my vertices, this goes two paths, so it's 12, negative four, and zero, negative four, my focal length is 36 minus 16, <coughs> f squared equals that, because it's six squared minus four squared, uh, that is a tw 20, so f is equal to square root of 20, so that means that I'm moving that way in the x, so my x is at 6, so it's 6 plus or minus root 20, comma, negative 4. Okay, so those would be my focal points, my foci. Uh, and if you want to plot those, root 20 is more than 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, but less than 5, so it's like right there, 1, 2, 3, 4, so right there. All right, good job, everyone. Uh, the next ellipse video will probably be shorter. Uh, this has a lot to it. I will see you then.